Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Airbin and Tarot. So today we're going to do your general love reading for the end of February. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So, when I was meditating with you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Sunshine by Coco. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. For some of you guys, I feel like this person could be a very beautiful shade of brown, okay, or have a pretty beautiful dark tan type of color. Also, this person could be very fond of chocolate or you could be very fond of chocolate. Um, and I, and I really did hear, I literally heard the phrase blast from the past. So, and, and I also, in your main shuffle, and I shuffled this really well, you kept getting the Six of Cups. So I feel like, you know, Six of Cups is someone that you have history with. Past life, this life, somebody that you're very fond of, somebody that you, that, that you know, you know, you've had a relationship with this person or you just had some type of connection with this person. This person isn't new to you. It is basically the overlying energy that I'm getting with this. So if you don't want to know anything about somebody from your past, I'm giving you a heads up, you know, because I like to try to do that. But um, I also heard contradictions. Like this, it's like, you, I feel like something, there was some type of breakdown in the past. Okay, there was a lack of trust. And then also I hear that somebody had to leave a situation because they had to relocate. I also got that because I had the world card. The world card is about a distance, um, foreign affairs. This person could also be a different ethnicity than you. Also, this, this could be like an emotional distance. And I feel like some of you guys could have just drifted apart. Not necessarily drama, but just drifted apart because there was like some type of emotional detachment is what I'm getting. So that's where the contradictions come in because it's like, it's a contradiction that this person is now all of a sudden coming back or you're now all of a sudden open to this person coming back. When it kind of ended sour or just weird for someone is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm going to do that again. Part of the deck, randomly change the card at the top and the bottom. Absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks, but if we get any reversals, I will read it as such. Also, we're going to shuffle the deck upright three times until we get the major arcana for your sign, which will be the star card. We will get the card that comes in the front and behind the star card, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? For Aquarius, someone rise in the penis, oh. I said the name of the song was Sunshine. You guys watch me part this randomly. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. You guys are not going to believe me. I should have fucking said it. Or else you, you, now you're not going to believe me. I literally was getting ready to call you guys Leo. And I did Leo reading yesterday. I literally was getting ready to call you guys Leo right as soon as I started. So some of you guys is involving a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. And for some of you guys, you could be a Leo rising is what I'm getting, or you have strong Leo in your chart, but I feel like long, strong Leo rising for some of you guys, if you are Aquarius, but also some of you guys could be dealing with in Leo sun sign individual. Could be moon rising also Venus, but I feel strong Leo sun. Oh, this is so impressive. Look at spirit. So again, the name of the song that I heard was Sunshine by the artist Coco. She was in SWV. And what I'm getting with this is that, like, literally, this is somebody from your past that you have a fond relationship with. Like, you two are, like, completely connected. Also, I always tell you guys, when the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. So I feel like some of you guys are open to having a brand new start with this person, okay? And the sun card is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of terror. I feel like this person literally just makes you happy. I'm, I'm hearing, like, laughter. Like, this person, what bonded the two of you guys together is just this fun, childlike energy that the two of you all have when you're together is what I'm getting. So that's why I said for some of you guys, I don't feel like the the separation was like something horrible. It could have been that somebody had to relocate or it just wasn't the right time at the moment. It was just meant for you two to encounter each other. But at the moment, you both had work to do is what I'm getting. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Ooh, look at all this major arcana. Now you guys know I always tell you whenever you get all, major arcana is the universe stepping in, intervening to put you on your path. Okay, we have free will, but when you have major arcana, you starting off with two major arcanas, strong fire sign energy. You got Leo here, you got Sag here. Okay. Wow. And I just said it was not the right time. Temperance, patiently waiting. You both had things to work on, things to heal with yourselves is what I'm getting. But more than anything. You have this major icon. That's something that's happening right here in the now. And even though you don't see it right now, it's something going on behind the scenes. Something is being worked out behind the scenes. So if you have not reconnected with this person yet, somebody's coming in. It's going to be soon. Because the major icon of energy, that's present now. Okay? 
So let's get, ooh, okay. Let's get the um, major arcana for you guys sign, which would be the star card for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Yet something is getting ready to manifest for you guys. And I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. And look where I stopped. Because <laughs> we're halfway through the deck. You guys know how I do with that. So, yeah, in the past, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the past, I feel like this person broke your heart. But look what you get. Okay? So, we're already here at your card. Star card. You have the mirrors card. More wands. Leo, Sage, Aries here. Oh, my God. Right behind. Oh, my God. Right behind us, you guys have the Ace of Cups. Ooh. And they're in the tower. I feel like in the past, things happen too quickly. Because the tower is always something that's built on a faulty foundation. Now, this is energy connected with Scorpio and also Aries. I feel like in the past, there, you know, things came down because you guys may, might have jumped into something too fast. You might have met this person and they were like a rebound. Very strong rebound energy, but I feel like there's a chance for long-term commitment with you and this person. Look at this energy. This is brand new love. Ace, aces are always something brand new. And then the Ace of Cups is a brand new love, okay? Overflow and abundance. Look at this. Happily ever after. The Four of Wands. This is a twin flame soulmate, life partner, companionship, marriage, okay? Union. Look at this. Look at this energy. This is amazing. And this goes back to the song. Sunshine, you guys reading is amazing. Ah, I love it so much. Okay, so this is dope. So I feel like, and, and as I'm hearing, I'm hearing it now, contradictions, just like I said, I feel like you guys have this amazing energy and then some stank ass clarifiers are going to come out or possibly some stuff that contradicts this, but I don't feel like it's going to hurt anything. I feel like this is more so a past energy is what I'm getting. Oh, this is nice. So let's get clarifiers for the four of wands and the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck, the moon card. There were secrets. Also, if it's not secrets, it could be that this person is coming back towards you guys during the full moon of this month. They could reconnect with you in the full moon of this month. Um, Ace of Cups, this person could also be a water sign, okay? This is primarily Piscean energy, but it also could be Cancer. And then you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. And then remember with that tower, you have Scorpio energy. So strong um, water sign energy could be connected. But the moon is always things unknown, things unseen, things you don't have clarity about. Now, this doesn't have to be something really negative. It could just be more so you're getting ready to find out why it didn't work out the first time. Because that's secrets and things that's unknown. So you could be getting ready to find out why when you reconnect with this person, if you haven't connected with them already, why things fell apart. And if you have connected and heard from this person already, you know, things could just be coming to the surface. Because if you notice right here, there's a lobster surfacing out of the water, which means something is coming to the surface. Some type of truth and enlightenment is coming to the surface, okay? Also, keep in mind, Said the name of the song, Sunshine, right? You see a moon right here, but behind this is a sun. So I feel like, you know, you may, this also could just be a message that you two aren't connected right now, but they are like getting ready to come forward is what I'm getting. Mm. It's part of the deck so we can shuffle. A lot of you guys are in your head having sleepless nights, um, overthinking, because source communication and also the mental overthinking about things because you feel like you don't have the answers. Here's the thing. You see how the moon is facing the direction of the man or the woman here? Again, I'm going to say something's getting ready to come to the surface. You're getting ready to get some type of knowledge. I just heard downloads also. So some of you guys can have some dream or a dream. Some of you guys are definitely doing a little fire sign. You have strong um, Leo energy right here. And the moon of right is hitting things in reverse. Something is coming to the surface. And then you have this black cat right here that also talks about secrecy and mystery. So I feel like this person, this person has secrets. And they're like holding secrets to the chest. I feel like that's just their, their temperament. Like this person just keeps things to themselves. Strong Leo energy here. Strong Leo energy here. And again, all of you guys don't have to have a Leo individual. It, and it could be a um, July Leo. You got the seven of wands here. This person could have betrayed you in the past. You are sores. They betrayed you. It felt like they killed you. Okay. But just seeing the sun card again. I feel like what more so than anything... It's some misunderstandings. It is some misunderstandings because things weren't clear. Feeling one more, one more shuffle. Yeah, things weren't clear. This person wasn't saying anything. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse, and you have the Two of Swords upright. Now, Swords up, that's yes, communication. This person is stuck between a rock and a hard place, stuck between two rocks. But even though the Swords up, like yes, communication. The arms are crossed. Like, this person is very guarded with their communication. And if you, I don't know why I'm being drawn to this, but you see how, like, this brooch, this brooch is like some type of lion. And it's, like, towards the neck. Neck is the vocals, communication. You see how she has her hands up towards her neck. Like, this person 
for some reason, they felt like they couldn't tell you why they were distant, cold, and aloof. Because that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Leo, for sure. Okay? So let's get a clarify for the Four of Wands. But I feel like this person wants to reconnect with you, for sure. Um, also getting that they may have had, like I said, you could have been a rebound or they could have been a rebound. There's two women here. Again, this could apply to two men also. You would know how this fits in your scenario, okay? Somebody had multiple options. They were keeping their options open in the past. That You have the Queen of Cups in reverse, so yeah. And it didn't flip out completely. You guys know I'm going to take it if, if it um, flips out. But I did have to show you that because it popped up a little bit. So I, I do feel like another person, a strong feminine energy, and feminine does not always mean female, but a strong feminine energy, someone who has a strong sense of emotion and feeling yep four of pentacles somebody had to release someone four of pentacles for me is holding on for dear life so someone could have also been staying in a relationship in the past for finances monetary gain but somebody is like you know what i'd rather move forward and release this situation so that i could be with the person i truly have feelings with you got those love birds right there okay Again, Four of Pentacles is holding on for dear life. They're thinking about something all the time. They're holding it close to their chest, to their heart. And then they felt like they built a, a solid foundation because Pentacles is talking about the foundation long term. So this person could have been married because this person is showing up as a king. Kings and queens, they always have a counterpart, a life partner, a companion right next to this marriage card. This person could have been married and they just recently got out of a marriage because, again, this is a marriage card and then you have something being released. Also, they could have lost some funds in this situation is what I'm getting as well. Yeah. Woo. Come on now. You guys keep getting somebody deal with Leo. Okay. Also, this person could have recently had a child. Now, here's the thing. Um, if this person is not Leo, have strong Leo placements in their chart, they could have a child that's a Leo. You guys could have met this person during Leo season, or you guys could have separated from this person during Leo season because you have the sun card in reverse. Okay. And this also with the sun card in reverse gives me moon card vibes. Okay. The opposite of the sun is the moon. So I feel like, you know, again, that's secrecy. This person was being very secretive with you. They didn't want to tell you that they were still legally married to somebody, possibly. They could possibly be coming back now and who and not completely divorced. Let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Cups. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. There is somebody, somebody who's married or engaged. Okay, Two of Wands, reverse, absolutely. You guys got a lot of fire sign energy here. Okay, so you have the Ace of Cups. And didn't I say contradictions? Look at this. Look at this energy. Didn't I say I felt it? Contradictions. Look at this energy. A fucking fool. Don't worry about it. I'm going to break it down for you, okay? So you have the Ace of Cups being clarified by the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands of right is someone needing to make a decision about which direction to go. Now, remember I said I seen the world card in your pre-shuffle. He's holding the globe. So again, I feel like this person chose wrong. Or they felt like they chose wrong. Um, they didn't. They, also, I don't feel like they wanted to be where they were because you had two of wands that came up in reverse. You see how his back is facing that love card? They were in a situation I feel like was loveless. This is why they released it, okay? But it, I feel like it was very strongly tied to finances because if you notice this again, he has like this hat and he's dressed like royalty or someone who is of wealth and, and prestige. And it looks like he's overlooking something on the balcony, which means he has a home that is of a high stature or something very nice. Again, male or female, this can apply to both, okay? But they weren't really happy in that situation. That's why his back is turned to this cup. So I feel like this person just recently left a relationship with someone that they were with long term. But they want to bring love to you. They want something new. Because again, aces are always gifts from the universe, always something new. So this person is coming back towards you is what I'm getting. They've decided that where they currently are, again, the two of wands need to choose a direction to go in. It's not where they want to be. I feel like this person wants to be with you. Is what I'm getting. Okay? So, again, strong water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus energy. Also, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Also, possibly Gemini. Even though this is wands, I get this Roman numeral two all the time. It looks like the Gemini symbol. So, some of you guys can be dealing with the Gemini also. Okay? So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask you guys to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.